like maybe 30 minutes earlier. Okay. So I was like, okay, no problems. Throw my train on. Okay. Fix this thing. Jump back to my computer to kick off the train. Send it, right? I sent it literally back to the future three style. We're on, we're live. I, I learned something about these. And it was totally by accident by just throwing my track into a bucket, putting stuff away. Okay, and what is that? Oh, yours doesn't do it. Mine doesn't come off. Yours is a single molded piece. Oh. Is yours now uh, I gotta find my switch. Oh, apparently his switch uh popped off. His might be a newer uh revision than mine. This is an older one. Right here, I'll, I'll put a, an overlay for you so you can see this. But we've got the two different... Mine just popped off one day as I was messing with it, and I was like, holy crap, it, that, what? You know, that's actually, uh, I like that. Because you, you put something else on there if you want. Yeah, a little Technic piece. Yeah, can... a little Technic piece mm -hmm. or something. Because like, like you said, mine doesn't come off. It's, uh, it's stuck on there. I thought that was pretty slick. I'm like, it was one of those shocking moments. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well. As you can see, we've got the corner mod in front of us that you've seen before if you've seen the R120 experiment. And an idea yeah. popped into yeah. uh, this last weekend of, you know, okay, We've got the R120 switch that goes, or excuse me, the R104 switch that goes on the R120 track. So basically, that over there, in order to get, originally we had this over here to get that outside. But. What about the inside? Inside. That's where the question comes in, saying. Yes. Can we get the R104? To shoot straight out parallel with the 120. With the 120. The modified 104 or 120. Yes. The answer is yes, we can do it. Stick around so that you can see exactly how we did this. As far as I'm aware, and I, I didn't do you know some crazy googly googly Google searching and whatnot. Okay. As far as I'm aware, there is nobody that makes a crossover for the R120. Okay, so this is Joe patent pending. No one else can do this. Tricks bricks. As of today, January 11th, 2023, you can't do it because he already did it. <laughs> patent <laughs> pending. <laughs> uh, What's that poor man's patent where you, you put it in the mail to yourself, but you never open it? Yeah. Okay. See, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I just got to send it to myself. Millionaire right there. All right. Well, it's not out of the realm of thought that these could be sold. Oh, yeah. Up. Now, before we, you know, you get too excited and whatnot, this is, this is extreme hobbyist level. Like, I, don't, I do not have the, the, the quality yet of any of these mass producers of, like, Brick Track and Trick Bricks, for example. So it's, it's one of those that it, it needs refinement. But... Without further ado, because I want to show, you know, what this looks like, how we get there, all that fun stuff. Let's switch cameras and set up some track on here so that you can see how this switch interacts. Yay! All right, that's it. I've done a little bit of work since I made this, and so I've fixed some of the issues, like this one. <laughs> oh, yes. With the, the two. Two come together. Yeah. So this doesn't actually, like, sit in there yet, but as far as proof of concept goes, this is four studs from the edge of the plate, which is where it should be, and this is going to sit right there like that. I can get the R120 in. There we go. 
Eh, why not? One more. So this lines up almost perfectly as far as when everything gets snapped together and whatnot. These big curves, the 104s and the 120s, they leave a little bit of wiggle room inside of them because they're not snapped down. And then also on the length, you've got it perfect as far as a half track. Yes, this is, this is uh, 32 studs. Yep. Here. So... There you go. We'll just kind of. Now I'm not going to give away all my secrets quite yet because perfect right there. There is something unique about this part, which makes it a little bit interesting. Still got to nail down the details on that, but as far as the the ability, the proof of concept, first iteration getting printed out here, this can happen. Okay, and this was one of those like. Over this last weekend, just random brainstorming, etc., saying, I wonder this would be cool if threw a bunch of stuff together. Exactly. And this is the only color I had at the time. So hey, it came it out works. this color. Easier to see on the camera, right? So what uh what 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 we're getting at here is the fact that you can go straight here now. I might have to do, what jiggle a little bit right here with our uh, with our uh, switch that we had the 104. Right, right. Because we I don't I don't know exactly if it'll match where or this not. is going to sit over here. But you could technically have your main rail or your main line going past another main line. So I love it. I love it. Now let's throw on a train here. Oh, we're going to get those. Okay, something that actually has wheels. Let's take both passes. I don't want off the cliff on this one. But went just fine through there. How these push went them back good. In. Yep. Seemed happy. Not bad at all. Yeah. Very good, buddy. Very good. <laughs> I was a little concerned because I had to get the spacing in here uh -huh. correct. And so I was like, oh, is the, the wheel going to fit? Is it too wide? Stuff jumping between? Is it going to you know, derail? But I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that is. You, you did an awesome job, buddy. So now, I love it. Okay, so we just got to get the right color now and start mass producing these, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the low, low price of uh, let's see, it's a it's a one oh, it's a one twenty that goes through. It's a low, low price of one hundred and twenty dollars. Exactly, e easily, <laughs> easily. The the only thing I can see um, is on the Trick Bricks ones here, and on the Lego they've got a bottom where the bottom of the wheel will actually run on. Oh, yeah. And you may need to add that. that on yours, on the crossover. Because I bet, you know how you got your 90 cr crossover? I bet it's got it on there, too. Do you have that somewhere close I by? I do have it handy. Oh, yeah, they do have a little raised section right through the middle. Yep, so the bottom of the wheel will sit there, so that way the top doesn't go clunk, clunk down into it. Oh, that makes sense. I'm, I'm glad that you caught that. I yeah. would have never, I mean, maybe eventually, but. Uh, okay. Anyway. Which actually fixes a, a problem in there that the, the models, as I built this, it, one of the tracks is solid. Okay. The other track is hollow. Oh, okay. So when I, when I cut it, you have a, a hollow piece. And so that's kind of what I was fixing on some of the other uh, iterations. Yeah. With that hollow piece, but uh, by putting this in, uh, that was like three hours of work that I didn't have to do. But <laughs> oh, well, now I know it's the little details, huh? Oh, yeah, the little details. In all seriousness, though, I will put a good amount of effort in this if you guys 
want to buy some of these. I have no idea on pricing at this point. Uh, I got to figure out, you know, material and, and shipping size because that's, I wouldn't want to put it into like a, a, a mailer that's the, the flexible. Yeah, you don't want to be flexible. It'll just break. Yeah. So it'd have to be in a box. But it's, it's, I'm okay with producing more of them. Oh, yeah. If people are, are interested and want them. I'll definitely take a right and a left version for sure. I know. Left version too? Yes. You can't have just the right. You got to have the left. Yeah, get come back on the main line, buddy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, remember, it's a million dollar idea. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This will not sit on this particular corner, though. Just so you know. Okay. It's probably going to go into your corner if you're going to have you your want? shed and, yeah. and whatnot. I have a building that goes over here. So I already, actually, um, this piece isn't the normal one. I, I uh, take a branch line that way and then go through a, a building over here. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe I could. Why not, right? You know, take just, uh, yeah. Do that, flip the switch, head the train right into the building. That means I got to buy more track because I don't have a 104 <laughs> switch. Uh, we can hook you up. We can hook you up. <laughs> You're going to need it for your corner mod. Uh, I got plenty of them. I got a couple extra. Yeah. Yeah. I do like all of the fun little accessories and stuff that come from some of these aftermarket companies. Oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite? Favorite accessory? Favorite piece? Like the randomness that I've had to make here on my own? Anything like that. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Yep, for sure. Jinx. <laughs> well, I brought... I, since our last, what, two videos ago, three videos ago, we did the whole plow, snow plowing thing. It went okay-ish. It was all right-ish. We made some snowballs. Yeah, we made snowballs and a snow, like, worm thing. It was like, you know, we just pushed yeah. thing of, of snow. If anyone's S curious, yeah, the track that we used, that we put out in the snow, I haven't really inspected it close yet, but... My initial view of track sitting out in the snow for quite a few days, weeks, <clears throat> something like that, is that they are fine. The plastic holds up great. The plastic holds up great. The only thing that, that I know that people complain about is the actual sun. Yes. It will deteriorate the color. It wasn't and in the sun. It was just under the snow. Just under the snow. And then they got out of the snow, but it was still overcast for those days. Yeah. And then it snowed again. Yeah. And then, so I didn't want to go get it. So, it worked, I mean, yeah. As far as the wetness, I mean, my trains did just fine. I just basically just got the water spots off of them. That was it. Uh, the batteries, they just tucked up inside. They never got wet. So, oh, nice. it worked out great, actually. You think if I put my track in the oven to dry it off, it'll work? It would. I'd set about 350. <laughs> 350, all right. Sweet. Not 450. We don't want to get it. Yeah. Yeah. 350, 350. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Uh, do not send any complaints or letters to this address <laughs> or in the link or anything, but, you know, go for it. Baking Lego. Yeah. That's the last thing we need to know. <laughs> um, you guys said. Yeah. So since the last video, I thought I would upgrade my uh, snow plow just a little bit um i am almost i'm i'm missing one piece basically uh i need to have this little technic piece so that way it can sit right there for the headlight I haven't ordered that yet but that's on my to-do list then that way i can put a light put a battery and light kit in this but i did change a few things on this i did make this so it comes down farther in the front um, added some horns on there changed the, the light on there I'm not sure what this is but I saw some pictures of rails on them on the back I put that on there the biggest one that I did change that I did was I actually put one of the little Technic uh, rams in there so now when you twist this it will put the wings out on both sides at the same time. 
So, yeah. Then, I think the other thing that I did, so they, they only come out that far. You don't need much, really. Then, <clears throat> I also beefed up the back here for the push on there because we kept uh, popping that off. It did keep popping off, yeah. Yep. So, put the handrails, recessed them in. I also did that. And that is it. That is looking good. You did the, was this on there before? This side piece here? They actually stuck out before. Okay. So I actually just pushed them in. So that way, as you go through the snow, you don't have anything dragging. But, nice. Yeah. I like it. We don't have any snow out there right now, though, to go test this. No, it's been raining for the last week, so all the snow's kind of gone. But... Uh, Anyway, give it a little bit more function. I'm always trying to improve, make it a little bit better. Well, yeah, I mean, this is... Did this have studs on it before here? No, no okay. this is all smooth. This had studs on it. I right. tried to smooth that up, try and get the snow to go over it better. So, yeah. I don't know if it'll work any better, but I like the looks of it better. As a function, whenever I build something, I try to have a function into it. Uh, even if it's, you know, a little car or something with opening doors or a hood or something. I try to get a little bit of different function into it. We'll have to have a round two snowball fight. I mean, snowball push. Push. <laughs> and, yeah, need to make an uh, actual, uh, not plow, but a, a snow blower. I've been looking at that. I think we'll have to keep a little bit of an eye on the weather so that we can get the snow at this level instead of this level. Exactly. Exactly. So, but till then, it looks good until next, uh, next winter. I like it. Oh, you don't want to go across the dangerous section of the track? No, not really. <laughs> Your couple years reminded me of something. We had a train crash. It's the last train show. Okay. It's last weekend. Yeah. Totally my fault. Totally conductor's mistake. So What's you... the first thing that you do every time that you put your train on the, on the line? Well, there's lots of things I do. Okay. First, you turn the power on. Then you put it on the line. Okay. <laughs> line up all the wheels. Then you put uh, you put a magnet. I always put a magnet between the couplers. Okay. And then hook it all together. Yeah, keep going. Uh, what you then you take a, 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 a test run around. You always do a test run to make sure all your switches are flipped the correct way. Always. Yes. Why? What happens, Joe? <laughs> I cannot read that. <laughs> This, it wasn't a switching problem this time. It was not a switching problem. No, no, it was a, here, let me go put my DeLorean on, my steam engine on, get everything there. I was, this lovely piece of junk, this lovely roller coaster here that needs modification to not be troublesome. Now, is it, is it, is the roller coaster, is it, um, is it a mod? Yes. A mock? It's a mod and a mod. It's a modification of a set, but it's also my mod. So it is a it is modified. Yes. Okay. So it's not Lego. It's not Lego's fault. No, 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 no. Oh, and, and the the <laughs> the steam engine issue has nothing to do with the roller coaster. Besides, okay. that I was having to babysit this so much. Yeah. That I was like, okay, hey, get my train on the line. I had been running the train on that earlier, like maybe thirty minutes earlier. Okay. So I was like, okay, no problems. Throw my train on. Okay. Fix this thing. Jump back to my computer to kick off the train. Send it, right? I sent it literally back to the future three style off. Really? And I didn't even get any video because I didn't know uh, the bridge was missing. Uh, uh, it was like, uh, I didn't know the bridge was gone. Somebody had just put the, the one of the two. Really? Yeah, there's just. And so it'd be, it'd be my, it'd be like my bridge, but they only put one in, not the 
other one. Uh huh. And you picked the wrong trap. Uh huh. It just whoo, whoo. Oh, there you really. go. And I've been wanting to do this specifically <laughs> with like a pillow in a bucket. <laughs> and, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, it was. So the only piece that broke though. This older style coupler that you've got on here that has that pivot. Yep. Yep. So it's like a yoke. Comes around like a yoke like that. And he broke off one of the one of the uh, well, it was flanges the, or It wasn't whatever. even the flanges. It was the piece that connects into the plate. Oh, okay. Just the, the pin that the pin that goes down inside. And, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only piece that broke. Uh, but yeah. I think was. there's I think there's a company that actually uh, makes those. Okay. Aftermarket, of course, you can actually buy those aftermarket somewhere. I don't remember the exact name of the place. I found them one time, probably years ago. Brick Train Depot, most likely. No, okay. Nope, nope. It was some weird place. Okay. I want to say it's something that's like uh, one of the lighting companies that lights, oh. like light my bricks or some something weird. Okay. Like out of nowhere, they've got them. I need to order some. I'm out actually. So, it is a nice coupler style, except having to buy the magnets or spending. Yeah. Well, they sell the magnets too. Okay. They actually 3D print or whatever the magnet in it too. So you can buy the whole coupler. Hmm. And I need to do that because I'm actually out. Okay. So, and I like those ones the best because you can pop them out and stick them in a, a mock. Yes. So, because the other ones you can't pop out, they're stuck in the. Yeah, you can there. use these like on your cranes and stuff. Yep. Yep. So these are versatile. I like them. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that was the. I was towards the end ish of the show. Last day? Last day, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. It was not first the show. Yeah. It was... Did you make everybody stop and freeze and pick up all the parts? A few people helped, you know. Get some parts over to pick, get picked up and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those like, we just heard Lego break. What just happened? Exactly. It's always fun. So, if you've never been in a show and you go to the show and at the end when everybody's packaging up, or it worse is at the beginning and you're putting stuff together or taking it apart, and all of a sudden you hear the crash, the dreaded crash. Everybody will stop, look around, and if it's next to you, you'll get down and help start picking up the parts. Because, I mean, everybody's just like, oh, Lego! Yeah. <laughs> That's so. like Steve's castle, too. Oh, yeah. He went to pick it up, and I guess, like, some bottom pieces or whatever, and just crumbled in his hands. At this last show? <laughs> yeah. Oh. He didn't pick up, so at least he knows on yeah. the way out. But. Yeah. He can go home and rebuild it. He yes. doesn't have to do it at the show. Yeah. Too often people do it right at the show and you have to do it, fix it. Yeah, like during so, setup. Yeah. Oh, man, it's that's rough. It's very rough. Because then you're spending you know, hours before. That's, yeah. Yeah. Not good. Anyway. Or you, just, or you just say you're done with your display and shove it off the table. A lot. Actually, more people do that than not, believe it or not. I can't bring myself to do that. Yeah, I when I have my display, it's like I'm not taking it apart. I think a lot of people not ever. Just, well, that's a good question. Do you t when you're done and you display it for like say three years straight, do you take it apart and redo it or you keep it? I have one that's getting modified. So okay, technically so you modify it's it. it's not going to be you know in its original form. Yeah, it's actually getting absorbed into this, so. The main building is going to end up right here. Okay. And some of the track elements off of it will get shifted over, but not really. It's it's different. Okay. So when I build stuff, I like to just keep it, use it. That's I, what I do too. It, I really don't take stuff apart. Yeah. Once it's built, unless I'm actually really modifying it like an actual uh, uh, creation, where I'll tear it all the way down, kind of like my one crane. I tore it all the way down. I'm redoing it. It's now a two-year project, but it will get redone. So I took it clear down to the last uh, brick. Now I'm putting it back together. But everything else, I, I tend to keep it, and even put it in a box and save it, even though I might not show it again for like five years. Yeah. 
but that's just me. Sentimental, I guess. Yeah. It's a lot of work. You put a lot of work into yeah. it. So, yeah. Although I might have to buy less Lego if I did take apart my previous stuff. A little new stuff. Oh, I know. But. My thing is, I always, you know, I, I've done it before where you take it apart. And then someone comes over and you're like, yeah, five years ago I built this. And they're like, well, I want to see it. <laughs> well, I can't show it to you anymore because I took it apart. That's why I keep it. Because it's like, yeah, I can show it to you. Just give me a minute. But yeah. Yeah. So I keep stuff now. Makes sense. Yeah. It never goes away. All right. All righty. Well, with that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Yes, please. So you can see more of the stuff being built. Please comment. We really like comments. Keep. I need to get back on helping to answer some of those comments. Uh, we just get busy like everybody else. Social media guy right here. Yeah. I'm social media. He's the video guy. He's the one that goes to the shows. I just go play off in other countries and I just got back. So, you know, I've not even had time to do anything yet. I say we hit up uh, uh, Brick Can. When's our, when's our show? Uh, we'll put it on the screen. Yeah. It's this day. Or if you know when this it time. is, tell us. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> put it down below. Comment. <laughs> I know. Because everybody has them. We, I just don't know when. I know they have a they have a brick show in Ed, Ed, Edmonton, Canada. Okay. Never been there. But I know that they have them. Mm -hmm. I've seen them before. Okay. Uh, I guess it's fairly good size, too. All right. I got so, my passport. There you go. Me, too. So maybe one day we'll go up there and do that one. Anyway. Sounds good. All right. Looking forward to it. Okay. Another video from Canada. Right? A. A. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, all right. See you later. Talk to you later.